Hello, beautiful friends and book lovers. I hope that you are all doing well, and I hope that this lighting isn't absolutely the worst. It is super rainy and cloudy here in the Chicagoland area today, so I'm, I'm hoping it's not super bad. Typically, I have beautiful days when I film, um, but I had to film this because I just finished my most anticipated, also, Finn, my lovely puppy, is trying to get a toy right now, and that's going to be very loud. <laughs> but I just finished my most anticipated book release of 2020, which was The Invisible Girl, written by Lisa Jewell. If you are new to my channel, Lisa Jewell is my absolute favorite author. Her books, um, The Family Upstairs, Then She Was Gone, Watching You, I Found You. I, I just, I love her writing. So I was super hyped up for this. And it did not live up to the hype. I guess lived up to the hype isn't the best verbiage because this book literally just came out. Um, I got it on Amazon Audible on October 13th and today was October 23rd. So it's literally like 10 days old. Um, I don't know if the print came out a few days before the audiobook. I'm not sure, but it just did not meet my expectations, which I'm so super bummed about because like, honestly, I've been looking forward to this book. But as always in all my reviews, I'm going to give my non-spoiler book review premise, what I rated the book, and then a book chat towards the end of the video for those of us who have read. And I'll go ahead and link the book chat time in the description below. So if you're someone that just simply wants to hear my thoughts on, you know, the characters and the ending, um, then you can just click on that time and it'll fast forward you right to that part of the video. So what is Invisible Girl all about? So this book follows three perspectives. We have a teenage girl who is 17 named Sapphire Maddox. We have another perspective of a man named Owen and another perspective of a woman named Kate. So at least I, like I said, I listened to this on Amazon audio, which audio <laughs> audible, which I loved. Honestly, you guys, I am a sucker for like any British or Scottish type of accent. I don't believe the accents in this book were Scottish, but I'm just trying to tell you the accents that I love. And oh my goodness, the three narrators who recorded this audiobook, I just loved it. <laughs> Even though the content is like thrillery and kind of dark, I just could listen to their voices all day. I love it so much. So the book takes place um, in just a small homey town in, I want to say like Manchester. I don't know. I could completely be wrong, but over there in the UK somewhere. And there are a string of attacks that are happening on women. And typically like a woman is, you know, sexually assaulted in a park. She's groped. She's, um, you know, there's like all of these stories coming out and no one knows who the culprit is, but you know, he does the terrible things to the women and then he leaves. And so that's kind of where we're starting in terms of what is the problem in the book in the beginning. So then you're hearing from different perspectives and I'm trying to censor myself so much because I don't want to give anything away, but we meet Sapphire, who is our young teenage character. And you kind of figure out that she struggles a little bit with some, um, you know, just some stuff she's trying to work through and she sees a therapist named Rowan. Yes, I know. We have characters named Rowan and Owen. I was so annoyed at that point. I'm like, really? It couldn't be like Rowan and Jack or Rowan and Tyler. It had to be Rowan and Owen. So Rowan is a psychiatrist for Sapphire. Rowan is married to Kate, who is one of our three main characters who we hear from. And Kate has, Kate and Rowan have two children as well that are around Sapphire's age. So Kate herself is like really trying to be invested in, um, you know, these gropings and sexual harassments that are going around town. She's trying to figure it out. She's super scared for her own teenage daughter. And um, you can also tell as a reader that like she doesn't really get to see her husband that much. So she's kind of dealing with all of this herself. And she doesn't really have a whole lot of people that she can vent to about this. Our third main character, Owen, not married to Kate, just Owen, <laughs> um, also lives in the same neighborhood as Rowan and Kate. And he is, I believe, I want to say he was like a coding professor 
and some stuff goes down with him and he ends up losing his job. When he loses his job, he goes down this really dark hole on the internet. That's all I'm going to say. He has all of this angst and he feels like it was really unfair that he lost his job. And yes, I don't know if you're saying this, but I do have a dog treat here that I am slowly feeding my dog so he doesn't bark while I'm trying to film this. Um, so I'm trying so hard. And if you've listened to this, I'm sure you see me struggling right now. Like, what do I include in the non-spoiler review? I would, I would probably just leave it at that, you guys. Like, there are these three characters that you're following along. Um, and I'm going to say this more in my non-spoiler part two. But this book, yes, it's deemed a thriller. I'm doing a little bit of a sigh there because... I don't know. I don't know if I'd call it that, but you, yes, it is a thriller. It's just not what I was expecting. It's kind of a book of, um, like character growth and character development. And you'll know what I understand. You know, you'll know what I mean when you read the book, you'll understand. I also want to mention that I did a buddy listen with Sarah from Stories and Sarah. I'm going to link her channel in the description below. She's amazing. She's super fun. And she also likes to read a lot of the books that I like to read. So we were connecting on Instagram and I was like, hey, Lisa Jewell's new book. We were talking about it. We decided to listen at the same time. And that was fun to have a buddy to just, you know, like be writing whenever I was reading this, like, okay, what are you thinking? This is how I think it's going to end. And then we definitely chatted about the ending. Um, so yeah, go check out her channel. She's awesome. So that's pretty much all I have to say for the non-spoiler. If you're a Lisa Jewell fan, I don't want to say skip this because I will add that I was so invested in the entire book. I was so invested. And then the ending just falls so flat for me. Like I couldn't get over it. And, but like I enjoyed the general read of the book, right? Like 95% of the time I was super invested. Like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen next? Like, you know, trying to guess everything. And yeah, so I don't know. I am going to rate this a three out of five on Goodreads, which breaks my heart. I don't think I've ever given Lisa Jewell's books. Maybe I gave I Found You a three out of five just because that one's like not thrillery at, for me at all. That was a more like dramatic suspense. But typically she's a five-star book for me, a five-star author for me. So just feeling super bummed about that. Um, for my personal rating, I'm probably gonna give this a seven out of 10. Just losing a lot of points there because the ending, is it's just not it, folks. It's not it. So now I'm going to go ahead and get into the book chat spoiler part of the video for those of us who have read. So if you're new to my channel, I would love if you could hit that subscribe button before you leave and that post notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new bookish related video. I also have a book Instagram, which is at Heather's Book Review. I always put the little handle in the beginning of my video here in my videos here i should say um but yeah thanks so much for watching and i want to start chatting about this book so much so here we go okay you guys where do i even start first off i'm just gonna start with owen because i think his character was the most disappointing for me in the end so he gets fired from his job which we all know it, there's these allegations from the women which I was like, okay, I think as a reader, you're supposed to understand that Owen definitely has some sort of some sort of something going on. I'm just going to go ahead and call it like a social disorder. Um, it's obviously very hard for him to hold conversations with adults and to initiate conversations and to just like know what to say, right? And he just has these little quirks about him. Like when everything happened, he was like, I'm not wearing these shoes again. These are bad luck shoes. And it's just like, you know, thoughts that typically the average human um, is not having. So I think that was very important for us to understand that whatever you want to deem Owen, he did have, you know, something going on that was really a big challenge for him. And I was so proud of him towards the end of the book, you know, when he was going to the like training, the HR training um, for like how to not make inappropriate comments in the workplace. But I felt so disappointed. I felt like at the end of the story, his character had absolutely nothing to do what was with what was going on other than like aiding Sapphire and her, you know, 
spying adventure. If you really take a look at like what was Owen's point in the story, there really isn't one. I mean, in the beginning when he was meeting up with Bryn, I think you're, you know, you're a little part of me was trying to think like, well, you know, maybe like he's this crazy guy and he doesn't remember what he does and maybe he is telling the truth. But that was it, you guys. Oh my gosh, I was left so disappointed for him. I, I really was left just being like, really, that's it? Oh, and then he starts, he goes on the date with Deanna, like his girlfriend. So like, again, char growth, character development. See what I, see what I said earlier? Yeah, it just, it was, oh gosh, just such a disappointment. In terms of the whole Sapphire situation, I did have a feeling that she was never really abducted. Um, she kind of, you know, obviously we're supposed to understand like she's a free spirit. But also what was Elisa who was like hiding her out for two weeks? Uh, hello, super illegal. She would definitely lose her practice. <laughs> you can't just hide someone who the entire world thinks is abducted. Like I just felt like that was such a loophole. And I don't know. I It's also kind of like, okay, like the, the kid, because he was a kid at the time that he molested her, was the guy who was raping half the women. And then I think we were supposed to also assume that Rowan was the one because of like the whole fantasy bit at the end or whatever. I don't, it just felt, it felt so far-fetched. Like she has this terrible thing happen to her, but what are the odds that it's that guy that's like going around? I don't know. When I was chatting, I was chatting about this with um, Sarah, who I mentioned earlier in the video. And I was just like, this is like, we were both like, what the, like, what the heck? I felt like there was a little, hey, yo. I felt like there was a little piece of justice for Kate at the end, like finally divorcing Rowan. But I just didn't really, I don't know. Like she had a, a hunch the whole time that he was up to something bad, but I don't know. I wanted more from her character. I felt like we got so much from Sapphire and Owen and not enough from Kate. And I also, um, I hated Rowan's character, which I assume all, mo like all of the readers who read this book did, but, oh gosh, I don't know. I just, I, the ending was, I guess I, I just wanted something like, I wanted like a no way kind of ending. And I just didn't get that with this, you guys. So that's pretty much it on my thoughts of the invisible, of invisible girl. I keep thinking it was the invisible girl, just invisible girl. Um, please let me know your thoughts on this book. I'm hoping to see that you guys actually liked this and maybe Sarah and myself are just in the minority. I don't know, but it just was not it. Oh my gosh, could that be the sun? As always, thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you in my next review a video which I believe is going to be on he started it by Samantha Downing I'm like almost 100% sure that's my next review so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye you guys